Hi, Bob here with a quick look at the Ashbury base. It is distributed and made by Fender, and it is a very unique device. It is an electric acoustic micro miniature base. I think it probably is not in excess of 25 inches, certainly. Let's take a look at it here. It is made to emulate an acoustic base. It sort of has a uh, acoustic base sound to it, yet it is an electric base. It weighs less than two pounds. So let's take a look up close here. We can see it's uh, pretty nicely made. We have a piezo pickup underneath the silicone uh, string holder there. Of course, it is silicone strings, and the audio is picked up right under the, uh, the string holder at the base there in the little bridge and delivered to the act of electronics. You can see the LED on there. You can also see my screen. It is fretless, although the frets are marked for a quick reference. And the tuning machines are up here, sort of large on the front. On the back it says, Made in Indonesia by Fender. These do work fairly nicely. The nut up there holds the uh, strings in place. And one mod that you uh, usually do right away is to reverse the winding on the big E string it, because it holds into the nut better. A small, quick mod you can do when you get an ash bore. The uh, strap holder is right above the bridge and saddle there. And the other one's in the back over here. The active electronics are located under this plastic cover in the back. And there's the jack on the uh, very back over there. So it does, like I said, have silicone strings. And these are rather interesting because they're completely untraditional. That's what gives it that interesting sound. Uh, also suggested is using just a little bit of talcum powder once in a while on the string so that your skin doesn't really stick to that silicone. It makes it move uh, more smoothly on there. I'll need to put a little bit on there. The controls over here, let's take a look. Very simple, volume control. Treble. There we go. And bass over here, the top and bass, treble, volume. Very simple. Um, so playing this bass, of course, we're going to take a little bit of a listen to it here. You do have to get used to it because the markers, or the fret markers, are not exactly correct. So you do have to have a, a decent ear so you can know where you're going once you get used to it. I haven't played it a heck of a lot. Let's take a little sound check. I'm not a great bassist, <laughs> so I sort of pulled it off, but it is huge fun. And I tell you, when you pull this out at a jam session, whether it's acoustic or electric, uh, wow, people just don't know what to think of this thing. And it produces a sort of really keen acoustic sound to it. Price is about 250 and up. Uh, so shop for your best value on that. And occasionally you do see them used. And they come in blue, red, and black. I like the red. Comes with a very nice uh, small case. It zips up into it and has a little uh, pocket for your cord into it and your uh, strap in it. There you go. The Ashbury Acoustic Electric Bass. My Fender.